folks, here we are again. Uh, today's challenge, we're going to use a couple of spars, uh, a bit of tarp, a bit of rope, and we're going to make a camp chair. So if we were on camp, one of the maybe activities that we would be doing past the day would be to build some gadgets. So today we're going to just use, I would say, I just have a couple of spars here. They're not exactly the straightest, but we we'll have what we do in lockdown. So a couple of old pieces of rope, a bit of tarp, and we'll start with doing our tripod lash lashing. Okay, folks. So for our tripod lashing, or it could actually be a figure of eight lashing, but I'm sure you'll correct me if I'm wrong on that. But first thing we do with any lashing, is we start off with our clove hitch. So let's we'll make our X. And then take our rope up in between. Now, this lashing for the tripod is very easy. It's just over and under and over and under. And what we'll do is we'll try and get it round perhaps about five times. And this will ensure that our knot, our lashing is secure. Keeping it tight as we go along. And say our tripods are one of the most common, probably used gadgets that we have, as we can make anything generally from a tripod. So whether we're on camp and we're making a table, or making this camp chair or even our bins we we'll use our tripod so it's a useful one to know and to keep carrying out so we're around four times now at the minute so following on all right now just go this one just for luck okay now once we're through here So now we're in our lashing, do it up. Take all this with me. Come down. Come around here maybe three times. Okay. And then we'll do the same then on this one. My rope is old and frayed, a bit like myself, but it's enough just to keep going. And again, again, I'm just wrap around three times. When we finish, another clove hitch. And that's it. So, what we now do, we're going to tighten it up. No, no. So, we're going to keep this string here, you'll see why in a wee minute. So, next thing to do, we're going to get our 6x4. So we gather all these ends up and then we bring it over to our tripod. Now, all I'm going to do for the minute is I'm just going to gather this. So, and then I'm going to wrap it around a couple of times. 
excellent. So what we have nice connected. And then what we'll do is we hold a round turn and a half hitch. Just like this. Pull it up through and down like that. And that there will be secured. Now when we're on camp, occasionally you don't want to cut the rope all the time. So what we do is we put a figure of eight knot in it. And that there just signifies that we are finished. Oh, see that? Nearly done it. Uh -huh. That's the camera on me messed up, huh? Oh, try that again. That. Yeah, that's a bit better that time. And what that does, when you, especially when you're on camp, signifies that you're done with your length of rope. But you don't want to cut it anymore. Okay, so that's the start of our thing. So, sure, now what we'll have to do is do two square lines. Here. Oh. And there we have it. Again. Again. All lashings, start and finish. Pitch. So now we can pitch in here. Right. Um, any camera person from the road can't see. Should be enough. Okay, and then come up, tighten our binds, go on around here. on this. Should be enough. Oh. Just watch them nuts. Okay, and then again, finish off. Cool pitch. It's all knotted, but it's an old rope. 
So essentially that would be us, but I'll have this tape just a wee bit too tight or too high up here. So I'm going to just give it next wee bit of room. I said we'll have plenty of rope, so we just lower it down slightly so that you can see that you can actually just sit on this. Giving a wee bit more rope here. So again, I'll wrap that around a couple of times to make sure it's nice and secure. And a wee round turn, half hitch. Turn the half hitch. Just do another one to look. It. And that is uh, one camp chair, which we can make on camp just like that. Alright, thank you. God bless.